Hi, this is Quant Nomad. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's uh, look at a very interesting way you can use to store market data in your projects. Over the years, I worked on multiple projects and I used very different ways of uh, storing data. So, depending on projects, different things can work for you. You can decide to store it in the files like CSV files or serialized files. You can store these files even in Hadoop or use different types of databases like SQL, NoSQL. Depend on project, it can be very different for you. And the problem starts when you have um, huge amounts of data uh, and you want some flexibility. So, for example, you want to uh, store like high frequency data, like one minute uh, bars or just tick data for many years. And also, you want flexibility to be able to transform this data into higher time frames easily. And in this video, we'll show you how you can do exactly that with Timescale DB. So Timescale DB is a plugin for Postgres SQL. Um, like this is SQL database, and it's a pretty robust and old one. And uh, I think it's pretty powerful uh, for working with time series data and um, price. It's actually time series uh, data. It has like your timestamp as like for example, open time of your bar and it has some measurements of open, high, low, close and value. And as you can see, it's quite uh, nicely built for working with this kind of data. And in this um, video, I will show you just a simple example how you can work with the uh, scale DB. But actually, it can offer you much more interesting stuff. If your project will grow, you will find a lot of interesting uh, things there. And uh, now let's look at uh, how it works in action. Timescale DB is plugin for Postgres SQL, so you can use uh, kind of usual PG admin to connect to your database and manage it. So now let's run a few queries just to understand how uh, this uh, Timescale DB works. So first of all, just create like usual uh, table for Postgres SQL. We'll create a table for like one minute candles, and I'll just uh, use here just usual things you can find here for the candle. So I will use time for open time of the bar. And I also will just add open, high, low, close and volume columns. So as you can see, it's pretty basic. So now let's add some random um, random values into our, uh, into our table. And now let's see if it works correctly as we expected. So here you can see the kind of output of our tables. And for now, this is just basic Postgres SQL table. It has no uh, time time series functionality. So to add this functionality, you need to call another function on your uh, table. And this function is create underscore hyper table. And you need to pass your table and a column that will, will be taken as a time for your time series. And also, if you have your data, you need to specify a parameter migrate data to true. So let's run it. So now, uh, like hyper table is activated for our uh, like candle tables. So now we can run really fancy queries. And um, well, kind of the best thing I like about this hyper table is that you can actually um, resample your data on fly. And you can do this using this time bucket uh, function. So what this function basically does is basically it, you can specify like what variable you want to use for the time and what is the kind of uh, your resample, like your time frame basically. And this function will basically kind of round your time to uh, this uh, time frame. And so I create this, I call this function and I create like new variable called new time. And after that, I just use it in grouping later. And for every group, so now like for every like five bars, so I have one minute bars and I create five minute bars from them. So basically in every group, I will have like a five, uh, uh, five bars. And for every group, I will compute like open, high, low, close and volume. Uh, using kind of appropriate uh, functions. So for example, for open of five minute bars, of course, I need to take just uh, open of the first bar in my list. I will take max high as a high, mid low as a low, of course, and last close as the close of the five minute bar. And I will just sum all volumes to my kind of volume of my five minute bar. So let's run this query to see if it works. So it seems uh, to work. Um, we have only two records as an output, and it seems like all the values are aggregated properly. 
and uh, but this is a very small table it have, has only like seven uh, rows but how will uh, timescale db work on a really big uh, data sets so to check that i went and downloaded uh, from binance a one minute bars for entire history for all coins so here you can see i have a binance schema and in the schema i have 1200 pairs so basically i have a table per one pair and let's go and explore like um, this this one of uh, these tables so here for example i have btc usdt uh, pair and um, in this table i have more than 2 million records like and in total for all coins uh, it's almost 1 billion records so as you can see it's quite a lot of data and even with this kind of data, timescale db seems to work fine. So here, for example, this is a query. I will get five minute bars uh, from the beginning of uh, 2021. So let's run the query. It will take only uh, like a few seconds and we will receive a um, result. So here, as you can see, result is ready and it seems we have a pretty nice output for this five minute bars. And in total, it's about like 70,000 rows. So as you can see, it's relatively simple. And if you want to just uh, get like different time frame, just change the first parameter here from like five minutes, for example, to one hour. And let's run it. And you will see that it also work quite quickly. And this way, you're pretty flexible of what time frames do you want to get. Now let's look at the service I used to create uh, this database. So I used Timescale Forge service. So this is a service uh, provided by Timescale that allows you to create a database in the cloud in a matter of seconds, just a few clicks. It's a very nice uh, service, but for me it's a bit pricey. So here, here's my configuration of my database. So it has pretty weak CPU, only one gig of RAM and 100 gigabytes of storage. And as you can see, with this not super powerful like configuration, I still my monthly bill is $89. And um, as you can see, one billion rows actually uh, take 68 gigabytes of my uh, storage. I think with the compression, you can reduce uh, this number, but still it's quite a lot. And um, um, this service, service is a bit pricey if you want to have like a really small database it might work for you but if you want a bigger one and you are familiar with like linux and how to install things there probably you can go and install uh, timescale at your own it seems that timescale is open source so there is no problem for you to create your own server it's to, to install postgres sql and on top you can create it you can install timescale db then you will have the same setup but i think for much less cost so I think that's all for this video. I hope it was useful for you. Thank you for watching. See you next one.